I'll take those. So what now, Ezio? How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh shit. Not your master. You serve the Sultan. You carry out his command alone. Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Father made his choice. <coughs> no. Sell him. Stop. Please. <laughs> So, you are the assassin, Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> You did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? That sucked, though. Like... Ah, I feel bad. Kind of hoped Ezio would have stopped the brother and been like, no, don't do it. Bill, good to see you. Listen, we've got a customs officer waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm, I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. Wait, look. This is crazy. What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. Uh-oh. Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! Go! Did he seriously just delete himself? I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. You know, I don't think him and Sophia slept much.
Uh, Ezio and Sophia have arrived at Masiaf after many weeks of travel. Time to open the library. This way. <sighs> Such a climb. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago. But here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? Actually, no. <laughs> You mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile, and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions, and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me. For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself, and let them go. To let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. I actually like his answer to what the Creed means. It's probably the best answer I've heard. with Sophia. Okay. That's you. Make up your damn mind where you're walking. Nothing's obstructing your... God. Oh my God, it's you. You're an idiot. Not even gonna talk? No, no atmosphere? Okay, fine. Just gonna be a silent march. Awkward. Okay. The end of the road. And the start of a new one. Use the Masiaf keys to complete the puzzle. What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Oh, Knowledge oh. that would drive lesser men to despair. See, That's that actually... You? Hmm. Sophia, you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. That's implicit. Those diagrams look like constellations, Ezio. Capricorn, the Eagle, the Sagittarius. Perhaps the keys belong to one of them. Yeah, that's why I said I'm like, oh, neat. So I'm sitting here I'm like, what the fuck are we supposed to do with these damn keys? They make no sense. But now they do. They make a lot of sense now, actually. That one works better. Huh, cool, go me. 
You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. She can go in with him. I mean, she seems to be durable by things to plot armor after that whole carriage ride from hell. Hell, she'll probably fare better in this whatever place than I uh, than I will. I don't like this. I really don't like this. This atmosphere music is not boding well for me. Oh, it's literally an old library. That's okay, Adrian. You you, you can fit in very, you can fit in happily here, minus the dust and the cobwebs. Is that no books, no wisdom? Oh my God! It's actually Just him. You, fratello mio. He died in the library. Shit. <laughs> you have seen to my book. Yes. Some we sent with the polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden therein, far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. And I'm not, so... That's cool. is much grief and he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow what does it tell you what do you see oh i'm not crying actually i just i want to like ruin the mood strange visions and messages of ones who came before of their rise and their fall so like altair has got to be in like his 80s to our family what does the apple say I don't know. Who were the ones who came before? What brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! This is my duty, Maria. Mm. If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus for Sipango, or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Sit a moment and rest. Oh god. When old men say they need to sit a moment and rest, it's never sitting a moment and resting. Dude's got to be in like his 80s or 90s at best. Look at like look at that frail walk. Oh my god. Can you even see, dude? He didn't plan to leave. He planned to stay.
Rest easy, brother.